Hey guys, are you here? And today I'm bringing you a comp uh, W uh, Windwalker Mage Pally versus an FLS. Uh, Windwalker Mage Pally is quickly becoming one of my favorite compositions, uh, just because Mage right now needs um, a lot of the stuns that the Windwalker can provide and a lot of that burst. And when I burst on top of that, you can go for a one shot. So normally we like to open up Shaman here. I like to go Invis, Sheep the Lock, and open Shaman. But I kind of wanted to show you guys uh, this game in particular because everything didn't go according to plan. So a lot of the games I'm uploading um, onto YouTube, a lot of things do go according to plan. The guy gets one shot or, you know, we go through with our, our kill and it actually happens the way we want it to. But that's not always what happens. So you see in there in the opener, don't get the, the most amount of damage. We do get Trinket Link and Wall, which isn't bad. And we decided to start hitting Feral and start running away. Um, so the kind of the general idea right now is that we want to sheep the lock again and get back on the shaman. Maybe even hodge the feral and have monk stuns on the shaman and hundred to the shaman in the next swap onto him. But as you can see in a little bit, that doesn't end up happening. And we kind of have to like reevaluate and readjust our strategy mid game um, because you know things don't always go the way uh, they're planned in the middle of a game. You can't always stick to your strategy because players can adapt and they can line of sight and there they can stop your goes. So here we decided to go on the Shaman. I actually blocked that CC and I tried to get a Glacial Spike off, but I keep getting peeled and I couldn't get the Sheep on the Warlock because I got locked out um, by the Warlock's pet. So that was supposed to be our kill. The, all we got was Wall, and now we're in a world of hurt. And I have no Ice Block because I Ice Blocked defensively because I thought that was going to be our kill. And our Monk karma offensively actually there too. So we have no Karma, no Ice Block. We're all getting pretty low HP. I'm actually fine, but they're, bo they're both dying. My Pally has to bubble and sack for that 100% immunity. And uh, they're still all full HP, and the Shaman's just getting his Trinket back up here soon. So we're pretty much, you know, we should technically, like, lose this game. So we're kind of like, all right, we have to either go Warlock or Feral because we're not, be we're not being able to connect on the Shaman and get enough damage off to actually kill him. So we decided we were like, okay, right about this point, I think we're like, all right, let's go Feral for our next setup. I'll Sheep Lock, you in-cap Hodge the Shaman. So... I couldn't actually sheep the lock there. I don't know if I'll be able to counterspell him or anything. Um, but we get a trinket wall from the feral, which is actually great. And so we in cap pause shaman, try to CC the warlock with a sheep or a counterspell, and we're hitting the feral. So all three of us are dying once again. My family has to bop, keep us alive here. And uh, we're actually making a slight recovery. So we're like, okay, let's do that same exact setup once again. I'll try to sheep the warlock or counterspell the warlock. You guys in cap hodge to the shaman and you do the monk stuns onto the feral druid. This time you won't have trinket wall available. Um, so I sheep the warlock there um, to try to stop some pressure. I kind of wanted to go. They're trying to reset some more. We get some big damage off. I think I lock that fear out from the warlock. Uh, we're starting to hit the feral. Um, have a pretty big glacial spike. There's the in cap on the shaman into the hodge. So just like the warlock counterspelled in cap hodge, boom, burst the feral. There it is. There's that triple CC. There's that setup. And we wanted to go shaman that game, but we couldn't really make it work. So we switched up our strategy against these players, switched to the feral instead after doing a reset. And we actually uh, came out with the win, even though uh, our opener and most of the game actually went very, very poorly. So I hope this uh, game helps. Thumbs it up if you liked it. Thumbs it down if you didn't. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.